to take deep. Figure it out, figure it out, figure it out. I can figure out what this problem's all about. They call me Cornbread. Hey, what's up, y'all? It's me, Cornbread, the math detective. Aw, yeah. So it's time for us to get into this math problem again and do what we do. You know how it is. It's me, but I'm going to need you, you, and you to help me figure it out, okay? So come on, and let's look at what's the first thing. It's all about money. All right. So let me tell you about my friend, Bobby Jr., now, Bobby Jr., man, he loves motorcycles. I mean, he loves motorcycles more than anything. He loves motorcycles more than candy. I mean, he... Oh, let me get back on track. My bad. All right, so Bobby Jr., he had $28 for some model cars and motorcycles. Now, I, I know what you're thinking, but I know you will figure it out. So read this problem and work hard to get this answer. And think about all the things your mom taught you. Um, your dad taught you, your sister taught you, everybody. Come on, man. Let's work hard to figure this out. All right, so put your thinking caps on and let's go to work now. All right, everybody, it is that time. Yes, it is the moment of truth to find out what the answer is. So, are you ready? Are you ready? Well, let's do it. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Yes! That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. I knew you would get the answer. That's right, because you all are what? Math detectives. And always remember there's no problem too hard for you to solve. It only takes time and determination. That's right. Because you all are math detectives. Math detectives forever. They call him Cornbread, the math detective. Figure it out, figure it out, figure it out. Figure out what this problem's all about. They call him 